In critical care, nutrition is a cornerstone of supportive therapy. For years, guidelines have suggested increasing protein intake to help critically ill patients recover. But does more protein really improve outcomes? Recent high-quality evidence, including the Target Protein Trial, says maybe not. The Target Protein Trial, published in JAMA 2025, was a large, cluster-randomized crossover trial conducted in eight ICUs across Australia and New Zealand. It enrolled over 3,300 critically ill patients receiving enteral nutrition to either an augmented protein formula with 100 gram per liter or a usual protein formula with 63 gram per liter. The primary outcome was to see if higher protein would increase the number of days alive and free from hospitalization by day 90. Results show that higher protein did not improve clinical outcomes. Median days alive and free of hospital were 62 versus 64 days. Mortality, ICU length of stay, and duration of mechanical ventilation were similar between groups. No subgroup, including mechanically ventilated patients or older adults, demonstrated benefit from augmented protein. The target findings align with three major studies. The EFFORT trial, 2023, found that high-dose protein equal or more than 2.2 gram per kilo per day did not improve time to discharge and was potentially harmful in patients with acute kidney injury. The PRECISE trial, 2024, showed that 2.0 gram per kilo per day of protein led to worse health-related quality of life and more gastrointestinal intolerance compared with 1.3 gram per kilo per day. Similarly, a 2024 meta-analysis by Lee et al. confirmed no overall mortality benefit and reported increased mortality in AKI patients receiving higher protein. Together, these studies send a consistent message. Routine, high-protein feeding does not improve outcomes in critical illness. It may cause harm in vulnerable subgroups like those with AKI. Nutrition should be individualized, not intensified by default. Thank you.